How to do a personal SWOT analysis. The SWOT analysis is one of the best known situational and self-awareness tools. SWOT is an acronym that stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. The SWOT analysis was originally developed by researchers at Stanford University and designed for organisations, but it can be equally used by individuals. Here are the four steps to completing a personal SWOT analysis. 1. First create a SWOT matrix. The matrix is set out this way. Strengths and weaknesses are usually listed in the first row of the matrix, S and then W. These relate to internal factors. Opportunities and threats are external issues or circumstances. These create the second row, O and then T. In this layout, the first column, strengths and opportunities, signify the positive or helpful factors. The second column, weaknesses and threats, are the potentially negative or harmful issues. Step two. Now, brainstorm as many different considerations as you can under each heading. Here are some questions to help you. Strengths. What are your key skills, areas of experience or expertise? What makes you unique? What are your core values? What do you love, enjoy or prioritise? Weaknesses. What do you not enjoy doing or that you find hard? Where have you failed or fallen behind others? What skills gaps do you have? Threats. What circumstances are most troubling you? Who is your major competition? Which challenge is most important to you right now? Realistically, what is the worst thing that could happen to you? Opportunities. How can you leverage your present situation? Who or what could help most right now? How can changes in your circumstances provide new openings? Step three, now prioritize the lists, work out which are the top three to five most important factors in each quadrant. Step four, now we analyze the table by looking at each item in turn and considering the actions that we could take. Here are some questions to help. How can you play to or maximize your strengths? What personal development goals, people or processes could help to address your weaknesses? How can you exploit, expand or multiply the opportunities? What control measures do you need to put in place to limit the threats? Now look for further relationships that you can identify across the columns, rows and diagonals. Remember that weaknesses are often a reflection of strengths, so think about the opposite of each strength or weakness that you have listed. Similarly, look at the flip side of external factors. You might find that threats can also provide opportunities. For example, a competitor could actually be a potential collaborator. A failed idea or project is always an opportunity for learning. From your analysis, how could you use that learning and pivot the idea or repurpose the project? Here is a short example using personal strengths and weaknesses. In this example, looking at my strengths, I recognise I am quite task focused. This means I'm a good planner and show determination when seeing a project through. Moving across to the right quadrant, I've noted a related weakness. Because I am task focused, that means I'm quite future orientated. The downside of this is that sometimes I can forget to be content in the moment or to celebrate the success of achieving something before moving on to the next goal. So I might set myself a personal development goal to practice more mindfulness. Then, looking at threats, I've noted that there is increased competition in my industry with more people entering the market all the time. Analyzing this fact leads to an opportunity in the bottom left quadrant. I have the chance to refine my pitch to better reach my target audience. So from this short example, you can see how, with a quick SWOT analysis, you can identify new goals, personal strategies, or areas for self-improvement. If you would like to find out more on this subject or about other leadership models and decision-making tools, then click on the link or head over to the website at www 
therightquestions.co. And if you found this helpful, please do like and subscribe.